Merrick's trapped in the Sea of the Damned in a cursed version of the Arena Tavern. It's time to go on a rescue mission. Hello, my little friend. What are you doing here? You want me to have a drink? Oh, no. I couldn't possibly. Besides, that's devil's rum. It'll blow your head clean off. I I'm sorry, friend, but I don't understand. I <gasps> think that it was trying to warn you that I was coming. Though I'm not sure what's more pathetic. That it thought it could help you, or that you have a crab for a friend. Mm. Come now, Mary. You're making this much harder than it needs to be. Just tell us what we need to know, and this can all end. I ain't telling you nothing. Is that so? You think just because you wear that mask that I can't see what you really are? I fought monsters before, and I wasn't afraid then. So if you think you'll gain anything from me, you're wrong! Well, I'm glad to see that death hasn't dampened your spirits. But I killed you once before, Merrick. And believe me when I say that I have no problem with tearing your soul apart, piece by piece. You do realize they'll come here to save him? Of course. And I'd very much like to see them try. Okay then, so Merrick is trapped in the Sea of the Damned and it looks like we're going to be going on a rescue mission. The Sea of Thieves put it, it's time to rally our allies as we journey there to save him. So then let's kick off with that beautiful trailer that we just saw, probably my favourite trailer, it's got lots of action in it, lots of cool stuff. Obviously we see the nice little Easter egg of Shelly first, and then we see Merrick is tied up in what we now know is a new cursed version of the Sea Dogs Tavern. I'm not sure how or why there's a Sea Dogs Tavern in the Sea of the Damned. Yeah, how did it really get there? I mean, the Sea of the Damned is built on memories. Whose memories is it built off of? Well, sort of trivia we learn is that Devil's Rum is very, very quote-unquote explosive. Small fact there. But then we realise that Shelley was actually trying to warn Merrick of uh, Amaranta being there, as we can see in the background. Now, throughout this whole thing, Amaranta acts very dark. Her personality has gone very sour very fast. She just seems cruel and almost no heart. Wonder and Duke actually seem better compared to Amaranta. We then obviously realised that Merrick isn't telling them whatever he's not telling them. We still haven't been told what he knows. Bell alluded that he knew something, which is why he's been captured at the end of the Forsaken Hunter, but we still have no idea whatsoever what he actually knows. Hopefully, we'll learn that right at the end of this adventure, in the finale of it. Because if you don't know, all the adventures are split into arcs. The first arc, as I've termed the Race of the Veil, was the Shrouded Islands, Falls of the Forgotten, then the Shrouded Deep as a finale. Then this sort of Merrick's arc, has been Lost Sands, Forsaken Hunter, and now a Hunter's Cry, and hopefully Merrick's information that we'll find out at the end of the adventure will link us on to the next arc. Now it's evidently clear that Merrick is not in the best of conditions. He's tied up with even rope around his chest, and he's not got a torso on, so he's not been clothed fully. But when he refuses to say anything more to Amaranta, she tosses him outside, and somehow there is a storm in the Sea of the Damned. 
Could this arena tavern perhaps have something to do with the DeMarco mystery? Did one of them kill DeMarco or found DeMarco and intercept his memories or something? I just cannot see how the arena tavern could be in this. But then, this is where I got really surprised. Amaranth's dialogue gets very dark, very quickly. This is where it's sort of steeped, not the lowest, but I did not expect Sea of Thieves to go here. We've never experienced anything like it. It's very different when Amaranta says this. Well, I'm glad to see that death hasn't dampened your spirits. But I killed you once before, Merrick. And believe me when I say that I have no problem with tearing your soul apart, piece by piece. Wonder and Duke are looking on at this, and we see them in the previous scene, they also look a bit surprised at Amarantia as well. They discuss that we're gonna obviously go to rescue them, and Duke actually seems to have faith in our pirates. I genuinely think that Duke will turn good at some point. He's not completely bad, he's just been corrupted somehow. So I have to wait and see. We then get a pan of this new arena tavern in the sea of the damned, and it looks phenomenal. They've taken the entire rock, put the arena tavern there, and it'll be interesting to see the differences as well, and hopefully we'll be able to go inside it. Now to the right of the arena tavern, also the front left, we can see these towers. If we slow it right down, we can see that they look like lighthouses, some more of those stone-built structures that we saw from a pirate's life. We'll have to wait and see about that. But then we also see on this Rescue the Hunter screen a portal, which obviously we're going to be traveling to the Sea of the Damned through a portal, that's the only way we really know. The question is how? At the end of The Legend of the Veil, the Pirate Lord does say that perhaps we'll be using the Veil of the Ancients at some point, but he's not really been that involved with the story, and perhaps Bell has her own means, I don't really see why we'd use it. However, it is a possibility, of course, because, well, who knows what the future holds, but it, this is a perfect opportunity to use it, if we were going to use it. Now, right right before I wrap this up, I, 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 there's just some something I have to talk about. So, <laughs> in the 20-30 minutes leading up to the trailer, and also during the trailer, uh, chat was all about bread. We sort of started by turning everything in Sea of Thieves into bread, stuff like Sea of Thieves Shores Bread, a Bread's Cry, the Shroud of Bread, the Bread Isles, etc. I don't know why it was bread. Um, then sort of started spamming bread emojis. Uh, I, uh, this was like 99% of people. I don't really know. And then, um, then John McMurtry came along and said, um, I never asked to be bred. Um, <laughs> so that was funny. Shiny Ray came along, he started, I mean, I, 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 I do question see if these communities sometimes are really too. I mean, it was, it was, it was great fun, but I mean, just, Bread, you know, you know, just, just, just bread. If you're there, I want you to comment down below bread or something related to the Sea of Thieves coded in bread, like, I don't know, shores of bread. And there we go, that does just help wrap up this video. Let me know what you think of down in the comments below. How do you think the arenas haven't got there? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps the channel out a ton. And subscribe to the update with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And why not hit the bell as well. But anyways, apart from that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.